guys, welcome back to the second episode of Golden Domers podcast. Um, this is I'm your host, and this is my co-host. Uh, today we have a great interview with four star. 2021 wide receiver slash cornerback commit Notre Dame commit Lorenzo Styles Jr. and he is from Ohio and I'm excited to have him on. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, Lorenzo, I mean he he flashes acceleration. He's got that top end speed. I know you were watching some of his tape. The way he takes the jet sweeps and just takes them all the way up kind of looks like Brayden Lindsey, um, yeah. fast. Uh, but really, when I look at everything he reminds me a little bit of golden tate actually so i i see him making these plays on the sideline you know just reminds me he's kind of got that swagger too uh so i'm excited to, to see what he has to say we got some tough questions for him yeah he's quick man and that's what we need that's something that we might have lacked on a little bit we've been more on the power run uh but i mean with jet sweeps and stuff with his speed it could be something really special yeah, and it's gonna be interesting too because both his parents uh, went to Ohio State. His dad played at Ohio State. Uh, they're from Ohio, like you said. So it's gonna be interesting. You know, we got him right now. Um, I've been here, and he's on this flip watch list. So we're gonna ask him about that um, and, and make sure that he, he's he's coming home to to South Bend. Yeah, I saw that he was on the flip list, too, man. That's kind of scary. All right, man. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it more than you know. All right. Uh, got a couple questions here. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Yeah, All right, let's go. All good. All right, man. In high school, from your film, I noticed you were a uh, two-way starter. Have you talked to Coach Alexander on if you're going to focus towards more of the receiver side of the game or are you going to play some defense? Oh, uh, yeah. So, like, right now, I feel like uh, I'm just focusing – on the receiver and uh I'm leaving as well uh I think that leaves me like just the only receiver right, right now but uh it might end up I might be uh playing DB so I think we're gonna see in the long run cool nice. <clears throat> yeah so I saw you guys have two state titles in three years which is pretty awesome do you think you got what it takes to to repeat this year yeah I'm actually people uh transition into positions and stuff but I think uh we have the talent and then we have the uh, people like we have the guys who want to work hard enough so I think we we got three of them in us. All right. I like that. That's that, that's that swagger. You know, I, I've been watching a lot of your tape, and we talk about it in our introduction, but everything I see, man, you, you kind of remind me a little bit of Golden Tate. I have been getting that comparison a lot, uh, just like with the me coming in the name receiver. Uh, he's a great player, but uh, we're both different, so I think uh, there's some aspects of his game I could uh, work on him, hopefully take my game to the next level. That's a big name to be uh, compared to. So, Yeah, he's, he's a great player. Yeah. Um, in 2018, at a summer camp in South Bend, I heard you and Tyler Buckner had a great connection, and you were his favorite target to throw the ball to. Would you two? Say, would you say you two have some big plans coming into South Bend together? Yeah, yeah like from I feel like just from throwing that one that connection already on the field, and then uh, it's hopefully we could just try to get some more work even before we get on campus, and then uh, it's really good from uh, we're gonna have a Good, good duo together. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I think we all are. <laughs> so I mentioned Golden Tate as a comparison. Which wide receiver do you think your play uh, most matches up with? Uh, I don't really know. Like, if I want to compare myself to like any particular wide receiver, um, it's like right now being a young player, I'm still not like sure like what kind of receiver receiver I am. So I think I'm just being molded into. Uh, I think I'm like right now is me the stage of me being molded into. Uh, receiver that I want to be so I'm taking just aspects just from a just a bunch of just receivers uh at the next level and then um trying to put myself together and identify my own my own game yeah, that's a good answer uh your speed is something that really stood out to me the quickness was proven even more on January 5th whenever you clocked in at a 6.88 in the 60 meter which happened to be the number one time in Ohio and it was fourth nationally uh that's crazy, man. But what fuels you to work as hard as you do? Uh, I think my fuel is probably – I think it's my little brother. Um, <laughs> I just always wanted to pave a pathway for him. And then – well, my little big brother because he's, he's big, he's 6'4". So, I just always wanted to pave that pathway for him. 
and uh, make sure you had just someone to look up to and uh, just had some guidance. Because I always have my – so I started with my dad from uh, – that guidance from him. And uh, I just want to keep passing with my brothers. So hopefully we could uh, play at the next level together. Maybe he'll join yeah. you in South Bend. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah, man, everything I've read about you, I mean, you're a family first kind of guy. Uh, both your parents went to Ohio State, so that's got to be tough. Um, hearing you're on uh, the flip watch, uh, according to rivals, uh, would you be able to set the record straight and kind of give some feedback on that? What could you share with us about those rumors? Yeah, uh, I feel really confident with my uh, recruitment with Notre Dame and then the coaching staff as well. Um, some coaches have been uh, trying to hit me up and text me and stuff. And uh, just like o overall, you don't know where a coach is going to end up at. And uh, there's some relationships for the future. So I'm still developing some relationships, but I feel uh, really confident with Notre Dame and I'm all in right now. That's what we like to hear. That's what we love to hear, yeah. Uh, I saw yes, you uh, play that game against Winter Park, that jet, jet sweep you had. Uh, the safety you outran was Marcus Clark, who's a Miami commit. That had to feel great knowing that Notre Dame and Miami is one of the most historic rivals in college football. Yeah, well, uh, just like you saying that, like it really just puts in perspective. Like I didn't even – I knew he was a great ball player just uh, throughout the game, but I didn't even know uh, he was committed to Miami. So uh, just in that – in that went the way you said that perspective. But, um, yeah, he's a great player. Uh, that was really a great game. And then overall – I'm not, like, really familiar with the uh, rivalry between Notre Dame and Miami. Uh, I know it's just a big one. I know Notre Dame has a bunch of rivals. But, um, yeah, he was a great player. And then uh, just happy I could make the play for my team, really. Yeah, that was a big play. Well, I, I appreciate you coming on, man, taking the time out and answering some of these questions. I know not all of them were easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just appreciate you for having me. Uh, Maybe it was a good time. No, thank you, man. I appreciate you coming on. All right. I'll see you guys. Take care. Go Irish. Go Irish. Go Irish. Yes, sir. JT Daniels entered the tra uh, transfer portal. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Notre Dame make a play for him? Two hours ago. I don't think he'll come, but, uh, I mean, I think we're pretty set at the quarterback position. I'm actually really surprised that he transferred. USC had a is is going to be better in a couple of years. They've had some good, decent. Yeah, I think with uh, Slovis, um, yeah. I think I read somewhere that they had the same amount of eligibility. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if it wasn't for Daniels getting injured, uh, I think Slovis ended up getting injured too. They had a weird year, and they just been yeah, spiraling man. down, which yeah. you love to see it as a Notre Dame fan. You do fan. love to see uh, that. It's almost, you know, you just love to see it. But, we'll give uh, that starting spot to Bookner right away, but, I mean, he's got to come in and earn it too. Five so, stars, I mean, man. He just, he just got his fifth star. That was a, another big thing. Big time, I know. I like that, but it all it, it all comes down to if he's going to come to South Bend and contribute. I don't worry about stars too much, but. Nice know, to see. I, I think like uh, we learned with Rubio, Styles Jr., uh, you really look at who else is looking at him. Yeah, the Irish got a uh, new commit yesterday, Pat Coogan, a uh, three-star offensive tackle uh, from Chicago. He chose the Irish off uh, over uh, Arizona, Boston College, California. He had a lot of offers. And let me tell you, this the three star does not do this man's justice. He's big, uh, tall, and he's really quick on his feet. And I am so happy that he committed to Notre Dame. He said it's his lifelong dream. Yeah. He said he's been a lifelong fan. So can't ask for much more than that. Yeah. Well, congrats to the kid, man. Uh, do you see uh, Rocco Spindler quote tweeted him right afterwards and said, "I guess it's my turn to commit." Um, so hopefully, hopefully we could we could lock down both of them. Uh, we're really close to rounding out that line and you know keeping O line U where it needs to be. Yep. There you guys have it. That was uh, an interview with four star twenty twenty one uh, wide receiver slash DB commit Lorenzo Styles Jr. Uh, thank you for coming on, Lorenzo. I appreciate it more than you know. Yeah, and you guys can follow uh, Lorenzo on Twitter below. Um, also, if you guys are on YouTube, 
the Fighting Irish are doing a watch party on the 18th. Um, it'll be Notre Dame versus UCLA 2006. Um, so that's pretty cool. Also, while you're at it, why don't you follow us, our, uh, our YouTube channel, Golden Domers Podcast YouTube channel. So if you can give us a follow, um, we'll be posting our new content up there. Uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, we we promised you guys a shirt. So uh, we're, here's the reveal of the shirt. And if any of you guys are interested in that, you can contact me or Kyle. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Nolan Gentry 34 And you can DM me on there. And Kyle's is Irish Mockery. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Go Irish. Go Irish.